Today, we're gonna to teach you how to replace a stern drive. Marine Parts Plus is gonna show you how to do it. Basically on this, we're gonna pull these. These are just decorative caps. I mean, loosen it up. And this pin's gonna slide right out. Take these little bushings out. And besides the six nuts, that's basically it. This thing's ready to come off. The important thing when you put it back on, as well as taking it off, Generally when it comes off, there's a shift cable right in here, and it, it generally pops off, but sometimes when they're a little older and used, the little clip can stick, so you just have to be careful of that so you don't damage the shift cable when you pull it out. Just make sure that it separates. There's a reservoir up inside the boat which contains extra oil to let you know if this, oil, if this out drive was leaking. The oil will replenish itself, it'll set off an alarm. There's a little piece right here that has a seal on it, that when you take it off, you're always gonna get a little bit of oil to drip out of that. And then also right here, here's where it goes in. So when you separate one of these, you always get a little bit of oil to come out of it, which is just releasing the, the components that connect it together. When reinstalling the outdrive, we would normally we'll clean up all the surfaces that hold the O-rings or if it had a paper gasket. I am gonna throw some grease on the splines because it does help things slide in together. On this particular outdrive where it doesn't use a paper gasket, we're gonna, we would perfect seal the whole flange, which is another chemical that the manufacturer recommends. This is the shift mechanism here that has to line up with the cable. If we stick this in there and go and put this outdrive on, it's gonna be stuck in gear. It's never gonna shift. It opens up, retains the cable in it. When we put this outdrive in, we have to make sure there's a, there's a little part that locks right into here, and it has to be in there fully before we put this outdrive on. And this is the input shaft. We're gonna wanna get this right going in the bellows. Slide the trim pistons in between the outdrive. You rotate the propeller or the propeller shaft to get the splines to turn on the outdrive to engage into the engine. And on a Bravo, this is the most critical thing right here. Making sure that that shift mechanism lines up into the cable. And then as long as the alignment is correct and there's nothing wrong with the coupler, the outdrive should slide on easy. It should not require any kicking or any hitting it with a giant block. And we put the nuts back on. We're going to pay careful attention that they're not starting to corrode away. Once we have the two center ones, go in a diagonal pattern, get them snug before we tighten them down. On a Bravo, there's this little spacer that goes in here in the back of the trim rams. On a Bravo 1 or 2, it goes in the front of the position, which lets the outdrive come back in a little bit more. So on a Bravo 3, we're going to put it in the back of the housing, which kicks it up just a little bit. Stick that one up in here. Come through, and then we can slide it right in there like that. Very critical on a Bravo 3, the nuts that retain the outdrive very rarely corrode, but you will find from time to time the nuts that actually connect the trim pistons to the outdrive will start to corrode. It's very important that you inspect them to make sure that they're not corroding. So I'm gonna trim it up and then put the speedo connector back in it so that our speedometer works in the boat. This is our speedometer connector that we removed earlier. We're just gonna put that back in, like I say, if you forget to take that off when you take the outdrive, it'll do no more than just snap it, and you can buy a new one. But there's a little hole in the very front of the outdrive, in front of the zinc. It fits in, and it gets turned 90 degrees and locks in place, and then you can't pull it out. And that's the installation, removal and installation of a Bravo outdrive. So that's how you replace your stern drive. To buy parts, please visit marinepartsplus.com. The right parts, fast.